any any time anyone is like did you see the new tiny tina's i'm like send me it i don't even care <laughs> welcome back to another video ladies and gentlemen sending out a lot of love my name is lunar for you new people new unsubscribers this is tiny tina's wonderland's chaos chamber reveal that i'm reading off the screen right now if you'd like to react like me to react to anything leave it down below or hit me on any of my socials links are all down below other than that yeah let's get into this let's get into this subscribe if you want I upload every single day let's go oh yeah this is gonna be loud we need that in that 4k let me Basically chaos. Okay. Oh, yeah, dance. That's really good. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Crap, all right. Well, stay back and let me do my damage here. Right? I'm the melee guy. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Bro, I do not have the Sharingan. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, so let me say available March 25th. Bro, I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be like absolutely taken in. I think I'm going to make so many videos with um just tiny tina's wonderland stuff like i think i'm gonna just be making commentary videos over the gameplay <laughs> bro i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna love that but anyways um before like so i want to say real quick so face to chaos chamber so is this like a this is basically like an end game dungeon that's what i'm assuming it's like a what is it let me see let me see down below I have my other videos lined up. I have more than that, but um, Seven of the Chaos Chamber, the endlessly replayable end game of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Okay, so this is an end game, uh, like it's basically end game comment, a com comment, bro. I'm losing my brain. Content. Nay, I wanted to see the name of this. Dryl, whose change are the sea. Oh, nice take on Cthulhu. I love it. I still love it seeing that thing, but. Cursed crabs and everything wonderful. I love the enemy types. I love I love just Borderlands style in general. All of you who watch me already know that like I'm a fan, big fan of like the the black outline and everything and just the overall look to it. I'm really hyped for this game. I don't to to judge um there's no like things I can really say before this comes out. I'm not someone who grinded things like uh what was it um guardians takedown in the recent games uh the, i remember the other other one was bad wait it, it was was it guardians takedown that was bad i think it was guardians takedown that was bad and then the good one was the malawan uh the malawan whatever damn i got like 300 hours in borderlands bruh uh, yeah anyways yeah i'm not someone who really i kind of just kept making new characters and playing and you know what that's the good thing about this is instead of playing um instead of me playing like you know we can say all the characters like from the past games Krieg, maya uh axe and salvador uh i forgot the one siren girl's name from the newest one which sucks but flack um ah, i'm forgetting names wow <clears throat> um Flint, what is it? Captain whatever's brother, young brother. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that with this, my replayability will probably literally, I will be one of the person, like people to play every single class and every class combination I try to make and just see what's fun. Like that's, that's going to be my replayable content. I never was someone to grind like the end game, like things over and over for the best loot. In this and that's like where from so many of my hours come from and like trying to get every achievement also that's another thing I tried to do for Borderlands 3 and 2 and the other ones but yeah I'm a big fan of the series so uh, we know this I say it in so many videos but I'm basically just doubling down here because this is an end game like 
content and I don't know. I'll probably do it here and there. I don't really play with like I don't know, is it solvable? Like does it does it um change based on I'm pretty sure it does, yeah, because yeah. That's just my thing is I'll yeah, if it uh, it obviously optimizes to you being solo, I'll probably just play it solo. But they shot this as playing with friends, you know. I'm sure the testers I don't know if the testers are like they're probably informed ahead of time who you're gonna play with like i would know just from like background stuff and and testing a game like i got briefing on who i would play with so i um if if i chose to end up playing but i ended up not but um yeah that's pretty cool they made it look like fun if you definitely have friends it'll probably be a lot of fun i'll probably have like one person i play with but okay i'm just rambling see these these are all my videos but nonetheless it looks good uh, back on topic is it looks fun like the K the endless the chaos chamber reveal I'm assuming like I'm assuming with may maybe this is a big assumption but I'm assuming like seeing like the different areas and stuff and you see how it's like choose your fate it's and it and it's the different parts of the map that it's always going to be random or at least random from an assortment of pieces of the map pieces of places that are in the game so it's gonna like wildly mash things together like as you it's like almost like an ever-changing dungeon like every time you run it it's gonna be randomized this is like kind of what i think when i think of chaos or if you can get chaotic with stuff is that's what it's gonna be like i don't know why i like that little animation it's kind of it's kind of messes with me but <laughs> i like it but um yeah and chaos can be taken as anything with this, like all, all the chaos from the shooting that Borderlands. It's funny that they are embodying this whole thing of chaos with Tiny Tina because Borderlands literally like is is chaotic. It's funny. It is chaotic. And now there's like a game focusing on that aspect of it. I wonder if I'm on to something or I'm not. I don't know. It feels like that for me, though. But uh, yeah, loot looks fun. It looks like there's a lot of good drops. That's. There's this rainbow tier. This is like a little rainbow tier. Is that like the new legendary? Like the highest tier? I wonder. Yeah, it's got like these little rainbow things. That's what I'm aware of, so. Uh, other Everything else is just shooting. I see something about keep fire spread alive by feeding moats. So you got those missions where you drag, like you drag enemies over close to moats and then kill them to fill the, fill the beacon seen that normal stuff normal stuff finish enemies while standing inside sacred ground okay your normal stuff like from other games you just you stand in like a circle and oh that's like the that's literally like the guardian takedown maybe they like revamped it and did it better in this one because like you had to fill the you had to fill something in the guardian takedown from what i remember there was another one that said help but stallion yeah prevent but stallion statue from being destroyed i like that more diff more more things that are normal but i will definitely love to do it in this game but all right that's it for me much love and light i'm glad to see this maybe this is gonna be awesome you know it's hard to tell their reactions seem cool i don't know like you know like yeah are these just like the play testers play testing streamers they're not like like that they were given like a build or a certain character to play with. they look like i don't know they look like they were enjoying themselves yeah, he really looked like he was enjoying. They they all do. They all do. They all look like they're they're enjoying themselves. Yeah. But the real thing comes down to: Will you enjoy it yourself? I think I'll enjoy it regardless. You know, my expectations are pretty low, so they'll they'll be met. I already know. But other than that, much love and moonlight, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.